This video gives an overview for admins who need to create or configure KPI or Key Performance Indicator groups. KPI groups are displayed on the Run page for solutions. The metrics in each group are automatically updated nightly for your users. A KPI is an individual metric that tracks progress over time. KPIs can be grouped together and then mapped to a solution. The KPI groups shown on a solution page can be used to measure success and identify areas for improvement. For example, KPIs can be used to report on a variety of metrics, such as availability, the percentage of time that a solution is up and running, customer satisfaction, the level of satisfaction that customers have with a solution, mean time to restore, the average time it takes to restore a service after a system or product failure. Install the Digital Portfolio Management application from the ServiceNow store. During install, the necessary performance and optimization plugins are also installed. Now let's look at our example. We're in the DPM workspace, logged in with the DPM admin role. Under the Run tab is where we'll find the KPI group that has been mapped to this solution. When we open the KPI, we will find nested metrics like the number of outages and outage duration. And we can see which offering is experiencing the outage. By default, KPI metrics are displayed as aggregated metrics over a seven-day period. With the date pickers, we can adjust the date range. The alternative way to view metrics is to see the latest score. To do that, we'll navigate to KPI Group's properties. Then toggle the Yes No option on and save. Now the Data From Date appears on the individual KPI card, and the date range picker is not shown. The number that appears in the metric is the last score, while the spark line shows the trend from the last 30 days. Next, let's explore the configuration options for KPI groups. Several KPI groups are included in the Base System DPM application. We start by searching for them in the navigation menu. We'll choose Performance Snapshot. We can modify the name, description, and the order in which the group list is displayed. But we can't change the type because it would break the mapping. We'll learn how to map a KPI group later in the video. If our metrics are displayed as aggregated, we can change the aggregate from average to sum. We can also change how the data is displayed in reports. There is an option to build a new KPI group, but several are provided with the base system. Let's map one of those groups to our solution page. Navigate to KPI Group Mappings. Before we can map a group, the KPI group type and solution type must match. Service CSAT is a service type, and so is our solution, New PC Installations. From here, we'll go to the KPI Group Mappings tab, select New, and search for new PC installations. Select the service and submit. The added mapping is listed. If a mapping is added by accident, remove it through the Actions menu. We'll keep our mapping as is. Let's return to the Run page of the new PC installation solution. As intended, we are now tracking customer satisfaction of the new PC installations business service using the metrics in the services CSAT KPI group. How do I map one KPI group to multiple services? Let's say we need to track the services CSAT metric throughout all end user services in the enterprise portfolio. To do that, we'll need to create a new KPI group for service CSAT. Instead of the services type, we'll use taxonomy nodes. Then map it. Now in the end services portfolio, we see the services CSAT KPI group. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.